So what we got here on this structure, it's a wooden structure where the water used to flow towards the back of this and it would even go behind there during water, high water flow, which we had a high water flow. But all this held back water and I created, which this was natural here, which is a side pump that goes down here along the side for a short distance and then just meets right up with the stream here. But this little side pump here is a lot better as opposed to the water flowing over this high bank because that would create it to erode. So this here all provides great cover for trout. Nice poles through here now and of course a nice run section. Poles and runs. Crucial to trout habitat. This here used to be all flat. This whole area through here was real flat and the water like you see here on the side about basically all the more you get just these little tiny trickle spots through here. But I went through and maximized it so it's got pools through it now but it also goes along the whole natural stream bed. That's one thing you have to pay attention to is that you get enough water pumping through these areas that it creates a nice deep run but it also lets natural water flow go through here the way it naturally should. That way during high water events and for insects that way because that's where the insects need a little time to grow themselves and a little tiny fish. Create all these wonderful, wonderful pumps. You can see basically what I did is a snaking pattern that snakes out by dredging some of these middle rocks and then adding a rock here and there to create these pools at the stop of a bed, putting rocks to create these pools the way through here. And I got underneath, got rocks to pump underneath and kick out water. And this here, these are break areas. Nice rock structure along both sides of this bank here, along both sides of this, and then a middle point where your water flows through. That optimizes and creates a depth pool here. And these create nice homes and they prevent it from ravaging all this whenever it floods. Some of these pools have become really nice over time too. There were no pools in here basically at all. It was just a really fast flowing freestone stream and then the places where it wasn't fast flowing it was really just choked up and flat. There's basically not one section of this that I didn't manipulate in one shape or form. See I got these S structures that are gorged out through the middle here. Another pool structure with a nice flow. Another pooling area with nice flow. Another stick area, large woody debris area, covering up all the major holes. Did that first because there was a lot of people coming up here and fishing these trout out. They weren't ever having a chance to actually grow the size. I figured this is the last, last stronghold of Brookie for around here. So I give them another, another wind of life. Create these plunge poles by manipulating rock by placing it upwards and downwards of areas such as this that it's elevated a little bit. And you can see where there's rock right here. So I made these areas where it plunges, has a rock area, it slows it down, creates a back pool, and that also has a really nice pump where you can also see it has formed a pool with all that large woody debris. And all these side shoots and pumps through here. Large rock structure with debris.
That there is actually limestone that I quarried just from the right, just from off the side here. Big pools through here now. Nothing, nothing like this really existed through here. It's just a really small stream. There's a really nice structure I made. That's all limestone on the sides, and on the sides and up through that very metal. It's an elevated plunge pool that I created with this nice pool here with all that woody debris. Optimize. Look how nice and this has become. That's how wide the stream naturally was. So I filled in the stream bank from its sides, attached rock to its sides so it uh, doesn't create any overflows. It lets it go through the middle, it doesn't ruin the stream banks at all. This here is different, numerous pumps. It's got a large side pump to the side here. That you can see pumps out the side and it also has this metal underneath is where it pumps out and you can see the water actually bubbling there because it's pumping out towards the bottom which leaves perfect area for fish to go back back and forth you never want to dam an area so that fish can't make it through it Damning is not the word that I want to use either. Even though that's what it's always been considered as, that's not what you want. You want structure that pumps right to the level of water, especially throughout the summer, where it can make it over and through the sides and pumps and doesn't create stale, stagnant water. There's some brook trout right there. All the brook trout that I have been seeing have been hiding right now because they have plenty of cover and plenty of area. Lots of shadow places right now. This here is one of the few small natural areas that I really didn't have to bother with because it naturally had its had its own pumping mechanisms where it actually created really nice pools and flows all through itself. That really didn't have to manipulate too much just right through here. I did a little bit though. This area here used to be flat. Water used to flow along the sides here. Real thin, real shallow. Would warm up more. But right now, I've got it more concentrated so it flows through the middle here. And it flows through the middle. And this is all healed in. A lot of these places have healed in within the last year or so. Create these really cool, neat side pumps right here. Right there, that really neat side pump coming out. It's a little hard to see. Based on two rocks and a structure that I created throughout the middle, and then it has a nice side pump, but it's got a large rocky side the whole way through here where it won't hurt or destroy any stream bank. Nice pumps and poles. Pumps and pools. Here's an area where I manipulated There's a huge rock right here. Create this pool right here by manipulating rock, center channelizing it so it hits the side here with the rock and it undercuts this bank. And as you can see, create a nice pool structure. I love this area. This is my second home. Some of these structures work even too well. Large woody debris, rock mix, creating pools, creating habitat, creating life. Look at the size of this one. Large woody debris. Large woody debris, major, major pool area now. That's three and a half feet deep the whole way through this. It's got this thin little pump right here. 